Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's M. West, your everyday tech guy. I won't start this off with the standard cliche. It's been a while. I plan on making more videos this year. I won't bore you with those types of details, but instead I'll jump right into the unboxing of the brand new release, DJI Osmo Action. Uh, after I get through unboxing, I'll talk about some of my early impressions. <laughs> plastic off throw that to the side oh, just one more tab here all right there it is the new Osmo action um, relatively the same size as the GoPro more or less Let's keep that over there, because here we're only talking about the Osmo action. All right, let's see what comes in this box. Paperwork booklets. Let's go ahead and throw that back in the box. Make sure we throw that away. I like to hang on to the boxes. Sniff test smells delicious. All right, and that's it for what's inside the box. Let's take a look at what we have here. A couple of mounts. USB-C charging cable. This should be the battery. All right, let's go ahead and throw all those things to the side. All right, I usually like to, I don't usually like to have my cameras lay down, so that's why the first thing I did was throw it on something so it could sit up a little bit. Well, maybe I should go ahead and put the battery in first. Take it out of its housing. All right, I'm back after a few minutes of trying to get it set up. Um, I have the DJI Osmo Pocket filming above. Um, I have it on some type of, um, uh, weird kind of setup so that it extends over me so that I could have this top-down view but anyway um, I had to disconnect the pocket to uh, get the Osmo activated and set up so now I'll go ahead and turn it on oh it's updating now as well so oh oops already breaking it So while it's doing that, um, I'll probably tell you what I have and the reason why I decided to get it. Uh, maybe this will help some of you guys that are kind of sitting on the fence and trying to figure out if this is a product that you should get. Uh, currently I have the GoPro Hero 6, I have the Osmo Pocket, and I, now I have the Osmo Action. Um, the reasons why I decided to uh, pick this one up was mainly because well, the Rocksteady mode, I've bought several different type of gimbals for my GoPro to kind of get that buttery, smooth, uh, flowing effect. And people have asked me, are you, using, um, are you using a drone or things like that? And it's, no, it's, you know, the gimbal, but the gimbal's kind of hard to travel with. Uh, it, it takes a little bit to set up. Mind you, gimbals are about maybe this big and uh, they're a lot smaller than what they used to be, but still it's a lot when you're, you know, going to a theme park or, uh, or just a fun adventure with your family. You don't, you want to have a little, as little as possible. And I found taking a lot of stuff, having a heavy backpack, yeah, you get some good footage, but you're uncomfortable and you don't have a good time necessarily. Um, the front facing camera, um, I absolutely love, which is here. 
So when you're doing selfies with your family and you want to get yourself and get yourself in the shot uh, with your GoPro, you can you can definitely do selfies or, and whatnot. But you you're, you're never quite sure if you're in the shot if you have the camera up high when you're kind of holding it like that. So I really like the ability to have that front-facing camera just so I can make sure that I'm you know I'm I'm in that shot and I look good. Um, next thing is the durability. I love the Osmo Pocket. Um, it's a great camera. I love that it has that three axis gimbal on it already. Um, I like how it's portable and I can take it anywhere, but it's not durable. So when I'm at an amusement park or somewhere, I'm always a little worried about it. I can't just throw it. It's in your pocket, but like in a rush, if you want to throw it in your pocket or just jam it somewhere, you have to kind of take it down however you have it set up and uh, put it back in its case and then put it in your pocket and normally i have it uh, sitting on something like this some type of camera grip with the extra battery here and um, i can't just you know disassemble this quickly and so i'm always worried about messing it up now like for um, family events and things like that i've taken it people are always curious about what it looks like and i you know i can take care of it pretty good i have it sitting on a table and i'll record video but something like this a gopro or the osmo action Oh man, I don't have to worry about it. I can drop it. I've dropped my GoPro a dozen times and it's not something that I worry about at all. So not only am I getting uh, durability, but I'm getting the um, gimbal light quality with the rock steady mode that this has. Um, I'm getting the, the front facing camera for uh, great selfies. And then the one thing that I noticed that DJI has that a lot of other products don't have, um, for some reason, it seems like I get and this is my opinion i get way better uh low light video so using my osmo pocket uh, in different nighttime settings at disneyland at, in small world i was surprised with the footage i've gotten back like with the gopro in the house with just normal house lighting on the footage have come, has come back grainy but for some reason uh with the dji products it seems like i'm getting really good footage so you know low light durability um Front facing camera and gimbal like uh, features is the reason why I decided to pull the trigger. Um, I, I feel like I'm a, a, an average consumer and so, well, or a little, a little more than average, but I, I didn't want to continue to go down the GoPro path and I wanted to try something out new. And I've had some good luck with uh, DJI. So I wanted to try out their, their new action cam since I had the GoPro uh, Hero 6 and I don't think it's far off from the 7 except for the uh, stability that the 7 has. So I, I wanted to try this and it had some new features that I thought would work well and I'm always trying to capture footage of uh, my family and kids. With all those great things, I just want to talk about a few concerns that I'm having with uh, DJI. Uh, they, they do update uh, their firmware pretty often, uh, and I love that. It seems like every couple of days, every couple of weeks or months, I'm getting some type of new features added to my gear, and I, and I like that. But uh, they're formatting uh, the file format of the videos. It doesn't, when I first got my Asmo Pocket, um, it wouldn't transfer into my iPhone. There were some 4K issues. Um, or I, I got some errors in saying that the phone couldn't handle it or my desktop could handle it and, and just a lot of weird stuff and now those problems have seemed to have gone away but for anyone that wants to kind of edit this video the footage on fly the 4k footage just be aware that um, there's some transcoding and some other things that have to happen because a lot of my editing that I used to do on my desktop I now do on my phone on the fly I'll just download the, the footage look at it, uh, throw it in whatever editing software I have on my phone. I think I use Quick a lot, um, has a lot of cool features and I can throw it up on Instagram, throw it up on YouTube and share it pretty quickly. And so just be aware that uh, I'm not necessarily a big fan of the uh, file format that the DJI uh, uh, puts in, but I think it's uh, a lot better than what it was for the Osmo Pocket. And so I'm hoping the same thing for the Osmo Action. Um, in my next couple of videos, I'll show some, uh, I'll probably have some clips of me uh, using the Osmo Action at the park or doing something with my family or just kind of testing it out, see how it compares to the uh, DJI Osmo Pocket, the GoPro 6 that I have. Sorry, it's not a 7, guys. Um, I know you guys like to see those side by side comparisons, but not everyone buys, you know, each iteration and each step of uh, different products. And so I, I kind of held off because I thought my GoPro Hero 6 was new enough and I didn't need the 7. But, you know, I'll 
try to give you guys uh show you guys what i'm working with and um do some comparison videos so look out for those all right youtube i'm out